Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this very easy red hibiscus flower keychain with polymer clay. Here are all the materials used. First, prepare a slab of red polymer clay. Remember, all polymer clay needs to be conditioned before use. You can warm up the clay by making it into a snake shape between your pumps or with a roller or the fastest way is with a pasta machine. Conditioning clay is very important as it will make the clay palatable and easy to use and to ensure the creation is strong after bake. Run the clay a few times in the pasta machine until it's quite soft and smooth. Make sure there is no trap bubble as it will affect your final creation. Once you are done conditioning the red clay, repeat the same process for black polymer clay. Now I'm going to show you how to do a very simple clay blending technique. Take the ready conditioned red and black clay and join them together. Then just roll it in here. This is the first rolling effect. The joining line is still visible. I would like to achieve a very smooth blend so in order to do so, fold the clay into half and roll it again. Repeat the steps until you are happy with the color blend. Now if you do not have a pasta machine, that's totally fine. You can do this with a roller too. Just remember to layer them between a baking paper so the clay does not stick to the rolling pin or the working surface. While doing the blending, the clay gets stretched out and it gets longer vertically. We do not want that as it left us very little usable clay. You can roll the clay up and make it to a cylinder shape. Squeeze the clay so it gets shorter now. Then roll it out again so it's now longer horizontally and we get more usable clay. Once you are happy with the blend, thin out the clay a little so the petals are not too thick. As I mentioned earlier, roll the clay between baking paper. It will save you the hassle of cleaning. On a side note, you can skip this step and use color pastel to add gradient to the flower petals too. Next, with an octo knife, cut out the clay in a petal shape. If you have a flower cutter in small size, that will work great too. I will just do mine freehand here. It's okay that the shapes are not perfectly cloned. Now here we do not have enough petals, don't worry about recreating a new clay sheet. You can always reuse the leftover. Just cut this into half and join it back to back. Then, roll it into snake shape again and put this back in parcel machine to roll for a few times. And look, here we go again. Repeat the earlier steps to cut out the petals. Now we have 10 petals here and we are ready to work. With a needle tool or any sharp pointy tool, draw texture lines on those petals. You can sculpt the side a little so it mimics hibiscus petals. Do this for all of them. Then with a gold color eye pin, hold the eye so it's facing up. Apply a bit of baking glue here and start gluing the petals one after another on the eye pin. Arrange them near to the eye so we have room for creating hibiscus style and enter later on. Be quite gentle while gluing the petals so you don't distort them too much.
curl the petals a little so it looks more like hibiscus. Repeat the steps for the second hibiscus. And once you are done, arrange them on a piece of wood or baking paper. It is not recommended to bake polymer clay directly on baking tray as it will leave a shiny surface on the clay that is touching the tray. Preheat oven to 130 Celsius and you can bake this for 10 minutes. You want to harden the petals so it's easier to further work with them later without changing the shape. Now check this out. Hot from the oven. We are almost done, just a bit more to go. Now let's add some green leaves to the bottom. Just make a few small ball shapes, flatten it and make a leaf shape. With a needle tool, draw out the leaf texture. Now you have the leaves ready, stick them on the bottom of the flowers. This step does two things, gives the joint a little facelift and it strengthens the bottom of the hibiscus. Now comes the fun part, bend the eye pin with a round nose plier. We are creating the style answer here. With a bit of yellow clay, make them into really really small tiny round shapes. Apply a bit of baking glue on the eye pin and with a small tweezer, try to stick them on the eye pin. This enter turns out really cute. I'm very happy with the outcome. And it is ready to bake. Again, preheat oven to 130 Celsius and bake it for 15 minutes. Let it cool down in the oven this time. Look, here comes our hibiscus. To make the creation stronger and also glossy looking, I coat them with UV resin. This step is highly recommended to secure the enter that will fall out easily if you skip the coating. With pliers, hook the hibiscus with split ring to a gold color keychain and here we are. Hibiscus keychain and I totally adore it. If you enjoy this polymer clay tutorial, please help me by clicking the thumbs up below and share it out. We have more interesting tutorials coming soon, so do subscribe to our channel. I hope you learned something today and see you next time. Bye!